This pregame interview is powered by Reliant. We've got Whitney Merciless, defensive end. It's good to be with you, Whitney, as always. And before we get into the, this matchup, does it just feel weird to you? You're facing the Patriots. There is no Tom Brady, and I know you've done that before. You had Cam Newton last year and a few years back. It was Jacoby Brissett. But doesn't this just seem odd that after all these meetings all over all these years, he's not around? Yeah. I mean, you know, it'll be – you know, the talk of the town in the AFC uh, division. But uh, him being gone, I mean, you know, as time passes, things change. Yeah. And so, you know, it's inevitable. It's part of the league. And, uh, you know, then Belichick's still there. They still run the, some of the same things. Uh, he gets them prepared each week uh, to do different different uh, looks, uh, di- uh, different formational sets, different plays. Yeah. Um, so we just got to be tuned into that. And, uh, you know, for us, just stop and run on defense, uh, take the ball away. Uh, simple things like that. Yeah, you know, through four games, you've got three sacks, you've got four tackles for loss. You're, you're doing all that. What's it been like adjusting to this Lovey Smith defense for you? Ah, uh, man, it's a uh, you know, it's uh, posed, it's challenges. Yeah, I would say. Um, you know, as far as like you know, playing inside the tight end, uh, where you got to have like a read step versus playing out in the nine and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it's been challenging. Um, and then also, you, you, as you when you get a chance to stand up. Um, you get to see everything, see the formation, uh, kind of get, get an educated guess before, and also be able to see the uh, the clock before it hits zero. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, if somebody likes to draw the clock out to about, you know, one or oh, oh, you know, you, you know the ball's coming out regardless. Sure. It, you know, it's being snapped. So um, it's just reading my keys uh, that are in front of me, not seeing too much, only seeing what I need to see to go out there and you know, go react and just go play it and make plays. You talk about reading keys in a play, but – we're going to get into Mac Jones, but what are some keys for you when you're facing a rookie quarterback, no matter who it is, whether it's Mac Jones or somebody else? Over the years, it's always been interesting hearing what you say and what you guys do and your approach to facing a rookie who's under center. Yeah. Um, one of the things I, I don't want to uh, underestimate. Summer. Of course, no. Um, you know, because some guys, like coaches, especially Belichick, will get them prepared to play. Yeah. You know, a few years back when Jacoby Brissett – uh, played and uh, you know he smacked us, so you know you got to give him some respect. And mm-hmm. uh, he's got that kid definitely working hard. And uh, one of, one of the things, uh, keys, does he get rattled in the pocket? Um, also, does does he get affected by pressure? Yeah. Um, you know, what's his composure like? Uh, uh, essentially, how does he uh, handle the offense? Uh, does he manage the game well? Uh, things like that. And also, does does he give up a, a lot of takeaways? Or um, does he give up the ball a lot? Like, uh, for example, um, interceptions. Is he forcing that by his own right. hand? Can he sit in the pocket and deliver the ball? So we just look at different keys uh, as far as how to get him off the spot, um, how to get into, into his mind and stuff like that. All right, Whitney, well, looking at him through four games, what impresses you about Mac Jones? Uh, he's actually – he's got good composure. Um yeah, he goes out there confident each play. Uh, you know, he runs that offense uh, like he he's being um, coached to do, um, and he he understands the entire playbook. Um, he, he seems very composed as far as reading defenses and stuff uh, and, and things like that. Um, you know, yeah, just he makes solid decisions as well too, uh, reading his keys, uh, going through his uh, progressions and, the, and things of that nature. So. Uh, it, it looks like a well-coached rookie for sure. Shaky week in their offensive line room just based on some guys coming down with COVID or testing positive for COVID, rather, and then other injuries as well. But what does this offensive line look like? I mean, and how much does it look like offensive lines from New England of the past? Because there's been some changes there in how they operate, or haven't there? Yeah, 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 most definitely. Um, in the past, what I've known, you know, they work well together. Um and sometimes hey, you might have a guy who who gets uh, might need a little bit of help on chips and things like mm-hmm. that. Um, now, as far as the the changeups, we'll see. I have to see who's going to be out there. Um, you know, as far as you know, what's going to be the final say on game day or whatnot. So, um, some guys are going to be playing some different positions where they may not be comfortable at. Um, we'll, we'll have to by the time we get to game day and see what the uh, the full roster looks like. Uh, we'll have an idea, but we're practicing yeah. each day as far as if we're going to go against somebody who's going to be at the left tackle, you know, several different looks um, as far as different personnel, uh, guards, centers, uh, X, Y, Z, and all that. So um, they work well together. They're, there's also – they'll also have chips by the tight end yeah. and also the backs as well too to get assist them in some help, and that will be really prevalent in this game. Okay, we've got to see how you're powering game day. 
And we've got to know, are are you superstitious in any way on game day? Uh, man, you know what? I used to be. Yeah. I used to be. Um, not too superstitious. Okay. Oh, and the only thing is, I like to get up early. Uh, get my day out, you know, uh, to get my morning routine. I pray, if, okay. uh, if anything. So uh, I'll pray. Me and my girlfriend will do that before I even step on the field. And then uh, just go out there and go play. Okay, that's pretty mild. You know, just yeah. waking up early. There's nothing too, yeah, nothing too, too wacky about that. Yeah, you're not... Uh, you're not like uh, Pedro Serrano from Major League, yeah. you know, with Joe Boo and all that. So <laughs> I don't have any favorite socks. Or... No, no favorite socks. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's good. That's yeah. good because sometimes they, you know, they get skipped in the laundry or something. Yeah. At least they do in my house. <laughs> uh, is there any particular song or set of songs or type of music you listen to on game day? Uh, that's a good question. Um, No, but uh, there's one specific song that I got to hear. It's uh, Lil Wayne, Money on My Mind. I think that was the Carter Two. Uh, so I got to listen to that every time I, I step on the field. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Good to know. And then finally, what's the go-to meal for you on game day? Is there one? Mm, no, not really. I I really don't eat too much. Um, I eat like a bird, especially on game day. Yeah. Uh, I don't like a heavy meal. I, I want to feel light. Okay. So it, it, preferably breakfast food. So yep. some eggs, toast, and some bacon. All right. You eat like a bird before the game. Find out what he ravishes after the game in Drew's dozen. So that's uh, going to be a fun one. But Whitney, we really do appreciate the time. Best of luck against these Patriots and hope you get a win. Oh, yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to know when we post new content.